In this video, I'm going to show you razor editing the master track in Reaper. Now razor editing the master track is a newer feature that's been added fairly recently to Reaper. And I want to go over it in this video as it's pretty simple, but also can be very useful. Let's take a look. I have a project in front of me right here. And as you'll notice, we're not even seeing the master track as it doesn't show up by default. But if we want to see it, we can go up here to the view menu and choose master track. Or we can use the keyboard shortcut on PC, it's all control M and on Mac, it's option command M. So if we choose it, we can then see the master track. And all of our tracks in our project down here are flowing through the master track. So it can be very useful to adjust it during our mix. So let's first view the volume envelope by selecting the master track and typing V. Then we can see the master track volume envelope right here, which we can adjust red points by holding down shift. Let's say we want to boost this chorus right here on the whole mix, make it louder. Hold on shift and create two points. Then we could adjust it to make it louder or lower. But now we could do this with razor editing. Let's undo that. And instead, hold on Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac and right click drag to create a razor edit. And now we could adjust the volume on the master track right from here. Notice how the cursor changes letting us know we're adjusting the volume on the master track. We could bring it down or up, and we can see how far we're moving it if we look down here. We're going up about 4 dB, or down about 4 dB. So we could raise it or lower it for this section of the song. But it's even more useful for fading in and fading out our song. Let's undo this, and let's go to the beginning of the song and do the same thing. Again, we could hit shift and create points like this and bring this down to fade it in, but it's even easier if we use razor editing. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and create a razor edit like this. And instead of adjusting it in the middle, we could put our cursor over here and notice how it changes, letting us know we're gonna fade in this section. So we could drag it down to fade it in. Let's clear it. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to clear the razor edit. Let's delete this point. And now our mix is going to fade in. Run a few miles down a desert road. Stare too long at it. But now we can adjust that fade using the razor edit as well. Let's create another one from here to about here. And then we can stretch it holding down Alt on the PC, option on the Mac. See the cursor changes, and we can stretch it so it fades in slower or quicker. Run a few miles down a day. Or we could just move it by grabbing it like this. So it'll start later or earlier, so it can readjust our fade in. We can do the same thing on a fade out. Let's go to the end of our song, and again, create a razor edit from here to here, but this time we'll go to the end. Notice how the cursor changes. We could drag it down to create a fade out. Again, we could delete it, alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and delete this point. Now we created a fade out. And we could adjust the shape of the fade Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, and put our cursor in the middle of the fade out to adjust the shape of the fade out. We can make it slower or faster like this, but also readjust or stretch the fade out. Again, we can create a razor edit. We could start it earlier or later or stretch it. Alt on the PC, option on the Mac to start earlier or stop earlier or later. Bucket 
So it's a great way of creating fade ins or fade outs or adjusting them on the fly. There's one more thing I want to show you. If you use razor editing a lot and you don't want to have to hold down a modifier each time, we could change the default mouse modifiers. We'll go up here to options and choose preferences, which opens up our preferences dialog. Then we'll go down here to editing behavior and choose mouse modifiers. And make sure we're in the context, arrange view, right drag. And we can see by default, if we right click drag, it's going to marquee select our items. But if we hold down Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, it's going to create a razor edit. So if we want to swap that behavior around, hit this button over here. And now by default, when we right click drag, it's going to create a razor edit. And if we hold down Alt on the PC, option on the Mac, it's going to marquee select their items. So now, if we want to create a fade out, we don't need to hold down a modifier. Just right click drag to create one, create a fade out, delete this and the point, and we've created a fade out. And we can readjust it again without holding down a modifier and readjust this by stretching it this way or this way. We're just moving it side to side. So it fades out earlier or later. So that's pretty much it. That's Razor Editing the Master Track in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.